scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. No more show it off. It's all business now for Dolph. Dolph Ziggler made it his personal mission to eliminate the complacency that plagues the WWE locker room. Month after month, the preaching is the same. Dolph Ziggler truly believes no one can hang on his level. Revamped appearance. And from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre's made it his mission to eliminate all the complacency in WWE. You know, Drew McIntyre arrived and he was the chosen one. Handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. And Drew will admit that he became complacent. Felt like he didn't have to work hard to get to the top. When he got fired, he went away. He got a new attitude. And now he's back, bigger and badder than ever. With a vengeance. Yeah, this new attitude from Drew McIntyre dictates he will take whatever he wants. McIntyre laser focused. And from Chicago, Illinois. This kid's the real deal. Weighing in at 245 pounds, Jason. Hey, Byron, here's a little trivia question for you. Who's the only person with the NXT, SmackDown, and Raw Tag Team titles? Huh, I know. Jason Jordan. For the first time in your life, Saxton, you're right. He read it off my notes. Fair point. Jason Jordan joined Raw in 2017 as general manager Kurt Angle's son. What a wonderful moment you that was. the news. I know. It was the proudest thing I've ever done. What a beautiful family. What a talented, gold-blooded family. Oh. Mojo's here, and he's all and business. And from Alexandria, Virginia, weighing in at 265 pounds, Mojo Rawley. No more of that getting hyped stuff. Once upon a time, Mojo enjoyed the distinct honor of being my least favorite superstar on the NXT roster. My, how times have changed with Mojo's attitude. Listen, honestly, I, I miss the guy who was hyped, who had a good time, but you can't ignore the fact that the more aggressive Mojo has had more success. Byron, he's found his killer instinct, and Mojo is on his way to the top. You know, Sami Zayn was once known as the underdog from the underground. 
Yeah, then he started hanging out with Kevin Owens and became the coward from the underground. Yep, bite your tongue, Saxton. Sami yep. Zayn simply aligned himself with his best friend, and the two of them yep. have achieved incredible things in WWE. Yep. Yeah, like, uh, let's see, getting fired. Like uh, starting the Yep movement by yep. big time matches at WrestleMania. Yep. Yeah, ripping off somebody else. Really creative. Yep. Cole gets it, Saxton. Why don't you? Yep. He's being condescending. Yep. Chad Gable, big opportunity here tonight. And from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Former Olympian, former NXT Tag Team Champion, SmackDown Live Tag Team Champion, one of the most self-assured superstars you will see in the WWE. Gable's accomplished so much alongside the likes of Jason Jordan, Shelton Benjamin, now making a name for himself on his own on Raw. Despite what Byron Saxon said about him in the past, Shelton Benjamin is a true legend, and he's ready for action. The gold standard in WWE. Carolina, weighing in at 248 pounds, Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin has done everything there is to do in WWE and around the globe, and continues to pad his incredible resume with great performances night after night. Hey, he's been a tag team champion, a United States champion. In fact, Shelton Benjamin is so tough, he once competed for three months with a torn rotator cuff because he just thought it was sore. performance in the ring. Unlike you, Byron, he's got kids! Just give me some time. And from Pineville, West Virginia, weighing in at 216 pounds, Pete. I wouldn't mind being Heath Slater for a day. I wouldn't mind you being him either. I think he can upgrade to a double wide now. <laughs> he's got kids, baby. And he needs this job. And I think he's going to have one for a long time because he's on top of the world. Y'all know what time it is. This the part where we crank it up. Let's crank it up. Now here we go. People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? 